If you've ever wanted to manage your mental health, get some perspective, and live your best life, those are all great things, then our next guest has you covered. Sheba Zaidi and her partner have created a journal unlike any other that has received attention from heavy Hollywood hitters like, tell me if you heard of them, Oprah, Reese Witherspoon, Ellen DeGeneres. You have. Sheba's joining us in studio right now. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Sid. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're going to dive into this journal here, the Human Being Journal, in just a second. But uh, I want to ask what inspired you and your partner, Genevieve, to start uh, Mahara Mindfulness. This was in 2020, correct? Yes, it was in 2020. So before I became a founder, me and my business partner, Genevieve, we had a corporate career. And we were surrounded by high achievers and moms. And we just noticed that everybody was really struggling to manage their mental health. They didn't have access to cost-effective tools that would help them manage their mental health and live their best life. And at the same time, it was 2020. So Sid, as you know, we were in the thick of the there pandemic. Were some going on. Yeah, there were some things going on and we were in the thick of the pandemic and people really, really didn't have the tools, like I was saying. And you know, what really was interesting during the pandemic is the mental health numbers were skyrocketing, as we all know. You know, 6.2 million Canadians struggle with their mental health. One in two Canadians by the time they're 40 have grappled with a mental illness. And it costs our economy $51 billion a year. So there was a mental... $51 billion. 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 With a B. So there was a mental health piece of it. But at the same time, COVID was one of the first times in people's lives where they were stripped of seeing their friends for dinner. They couldn't catch a flight somewhere else. And for the first time, they were alone with themselves and their thoughts. And they were like, am I living an aligned life? Am I living a life that's true to me? So the reason we created the Human Being Journal was an answer to both of these things. We wanted to give people a mental health tool because journaling is scientifically proven to help with mental health and managing stress and anxiety. But we also wanted to give people a reflection tool as they pondered these big life questions. I want to ask you about the endorsements here in a second, so I want time for that. Yes. In 60 seconds, Shiva, how does this work, the Human Being Journal? Yeah, so the Human Being Journal you know, me and my business partner were avid journalers our whole life. We never found a journal on the market that we felt was really looking at your life holistically. Journals on the market were either going all in on productivity or all in on gratefulness. We wanted something that married the two. Our journal is also rooted in a concept, which is unlike journals out there. It's a concept by Eckhart Tolle of what does it mean to be a human being? It's non-dated, so it can be started at any point in the year, your birthday, New Year's, you know, milestone, whatever it is, and a percentage of all proceeds go towards supporting mental health organizations globally here at home at CAMH. And what we think is most unique about this journal is the fact that there's a deep dive section. So every single month, there's goal setting, vision setting, and then a deep dive, which we famously like to say are questions in your life that no one's asking you or you're not asking yourself, but are critical to live a life that's true to you. Those are healthy questions to ask and have someone ask of you. Yes. Humanbeingjournal.com is where you can go. I was ter I was awful. They would ask me to journal when I was in school. Yeah. It's like Tuesday, March 10th, <laughs> bought some big league chew, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Like I, it, I didn't get very deep in no. my journals, but this is- This, Sid, is, this is a journal maybe, for this you. This is for me. Yes. Uh, we have a minute. Uh, Oprah has endorsed this. Gwyneth Paltrow, Ellen DeGeneres, Reese Witherspoon. How did that happen? You know, I think the journal just launched into the world and it had its own karmic destiny. I think it resonated with people because people are looking for these tools. They want to manage their mental health. And, you know, all these celebrities and media is amazing. But, Sid, can I tell you, the most important thing to us is our customers. We have had people say to us, this journal changed our life. We moved to our dream city. We got the promotion at work. We had a mother write in and say this journal helped her grieve the loss of her child as a founder. There is nothing more meaningful than that. So the celebrities are great, but it's all about the customer. I've been doing the show since 2021. Anytime we can bring anyone on to in any way, shape, or form help with someone's mental health. Yes. Because we're not, we, we talk about it more now, but it's still, we, there's a ways to go. Yes. I, I applaud it and thank you, Sheba, thank for coming you. in. Thank Continue you. success. Thank you. Uh, the Human Being Journal, again, uh, check it out online, humanbeingjournal.com. More BT coming up.